And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Ender Undying. What we're doing here is we're kind of combining two decks together. We're going to be taking the um, Ender Spiders, They Who Endure, um, and you know, like how, uh, like it's a it's a very very good deck. The Ender Spiders, um, basically, you play a whole bunch of spiders and they die and everything, and then you uh, get to slam They Who Endure. And have the atrocity, you know, make it very large, have the atrocity combo, and so on. We're basically taking that deck, but instead of playing all the spiders, we're going to be instead playing the Undying package with Chronicler of Ruin and, and Ethereal Remitter and everything like that. Um, that we kind of have with the, um, like the Undying Combat deck. Um, so, you know, kind of combining those two decks together here and uh trying it out it's mostly all shadow isles we're just splashing uh for they who endure and so therefore we should be hitting our wraith crawlers all the time because you know we'll have our allegiance with the wraith caller um and uh so it should be good um but yeah so i wanted wanted to kind of give this a try you know basically going all shadow isles um and you know we'll have Callista. Uh, with Rekindler, you know, that's a great combo. Callista Rekindler, we saw that in action in our last deck. Um, and we'll kind of see see how this goes. All right, so let's save this. Here we go. Endure Undying. Ugh. Kato and Shiraza are totally dating, as opposed to somewhat. I guess you can be somewhat dating. That's a thing. So nope, no new cards today, huh? Nope, doesn't look like it. <clears throat> All right, we'll get rid of these and keep the Mystery Eighth Callista. Those seven drops are good, but we don't need them in our opening hand. Hey, Kiki, you took a nap and slept way too late. That happens. That happens for sure. Yeah, the Karina control... It's pretty rough to play against. It's... They have so much good tools against aggro in their deck. And yeah, like it's it's tough. Like it's it's really hard to, to find like a real hole to to uh, yeah. Because I mean, they can kind of do everything. You know, brood awakening, withering whale. Uh, you know, like they can have all their spiders and be real aggressive. They can have all sorts of removal, and then just top end cards that. You just can't deal with like Ledros. It's a good deck. All right, so they get to discard Hapless Aristocrat. Harvey doesn't really understand the word no. <clears throat> I like trying to get their spiders. I mean, I know I like the Withering Whale, but I like trying to keep their spiders in check to not have them level up Elise. And I can't really just like pass back and expect them to attack because they could, especially with the three man here, they could certainly just. Um, they could certainly just let me uh, have a turn. Okay, I'll take that. 
better on that than on Callista or Thrash. I'm doing better card wise. I got four cards in hand, I'm at six. One one isn't that important. Not really playing into ruination. It doesn't really matter if the undying dies. The more time the undying dies, the better for they who endure. Going straight to combat and gonna be attacking uh, for lethal. Oh, I guess. I guess we should block. So if we got a block, we'll block here. up. Need like grasp the undying or multiple spells. Okay, they discarded that Ledros. Play Threshes the box and kill the Elise. I don't I really don't need to play Wraith Call or Rekindler. We're not gonna play either of those. It's basically do I want to kill Elise or not? I guess the answer is no. Oh no. I will not suffer fools. That missed. You will suffer long. Dang, that missed. Um So my top card is They Who Endure. We had a 2 out of 24 chance.
This does get shuffled back in, so I guess it, we could end up drawing Thresh next turn. Could be the top card. They who endure. That hurt. Yeah, and we've already had one day who endure died, so there's only two left. On the 24, that really hurt. This is the, you know, darned if you do, darned if you don't kind of scenario. If I if I play one of these, they ruination and laugh. If I don't play one of these, then, um, you know, all they have to have is just a small removal spell to stay alive and a chump block. And then they could play, you know, like a Ledros or a Karina Veraza and especially Karina Veraza and then, burn, you know, a couple burn spells. And I'm dead. I think if they do have Ruination, that that's not too bad for me. And so I'm going to play this way. I'm going to play... I'm not going to play around Ruination. I'm going to play around a singular removal spell. Uh, it doesn't really matter. We'll just do that, that, and then... Sure hope they don't have a burn spell. I don't have any more Callistas to grab with Thresh. All right, GG's. Dang, that was close. Always hard fought beating Karina Control. Always hard fought. It's a tough deck to beat. That's a good a good sign that we won that matchup. It's a good sign. Okay, well, let's, I mean, I like the Undying Remitter combo, but that's, you know, obviously quite slow. We'll keep the Undying for sure. I... We'll keep Remitter. That, that is a really good combo. We'll keep that. Butchers. Yeah, we're going to be killing this Undying so much. Hello. This poor the undying. Oh 
We'll kill the other one also. We'll kill them all. Technically, it's tacky for one more if I play the Butcher first. But just in case they would use some kind of removal or something. I guess I don't have room for Ethereal Remitter. Here in your time of need. Uh, yeah, I don't have room for that. They don't have to have Withering Whale, you know. It's possible they just don't have that card. Hmm, looks like they don't have Withering Whale. Okay, that's good news. All right, so now we have room for this. Let's key. I mean, I guess I could just play a new Undying. Because Undyings are pretty great for this matchup. Sorry. I bring the storm. You're Rend the sky. It's tempting to play Ruination. But we'll play Rekindler. If they want a Ruination, that's fine with me. So now these Anivias are going to be three fives. A new era begins. I do want to kill the Anivias. How can I kill the Anivias? Because I can't really. Can't really kill the Anivias and then Ruination and get rid of the tokens. can't. So, let's, um, chill out, chill out. Oh, let's see, well, you're, you're gonna be last. Ready the torches. I can't block the Usari. I could obviously I could could take something with you, sorry, but it's just not really a great thing to take. Such naivete. I will endure. Double Anivia is gonna be rough. I 
Probably should have ruination to the last turn. No, we wouldn't have been able to. Yeah, I, I doubt they're playing She Who Wanders. I don't, I don't expect them to have that card. Also, just worried about you know like these Anivia triggers, do, like the four damage and everything. Ooh, okay. What can we do there? No, I can't really pair that with Ruination, can I? Hmm. I need them to play Ruination. Or Avalanche. Good, if I play Avalanche. Do it. A true Felionian welcome. We know they just get these things back as three fives, but it's probably good to, you know, have them have one less attack. All of those. Go ahead, Ruination. Go ahead. Oh no, did I just did I just kill a Callista? Huh. Kinda of forgot about that. I guess I shouldn't attack I guess I just shouldn't have played the Mistwraith. I need Vile Feast. That's the card I need. Do I even have Vile Feast in my deck? Yeah. We got a couple. Yeah, I was thinking, you know, you sorry with the, you know, with the elusive, can't be blocked. Snow, wind, and ice. But yeah, maybe I should. If I challenge, then, you know, it's another undying that's, that's not getting blocked. That's five power.
So I have three Undyings coming back. Now to try to get rid of three of these things. Bleh. Now they're all five toughness again. these things to die. Hey, beloved Nick uh, Capshi, what's up, y'all? All right, so we're gonna be casting They Who Endure. So we're gonna have um, four other mana, or sorry, we're gonna be casting Ruination as well, four other mana. It's basically, do I want to draw two or do I want to play Wraith Caller? And I think I'm gonna play Wraith Caller. Um. Thing. No, let's draw two. We'll just play Mist Wraith. There we go. Okay. We have a chance. Oh, why, why am I not just casting Atrocity right now? They're at one. I guess I could have just cast it right then. Because they're at one. <laughs> I don't need to they who endure atrocity. Is like I'm the I'm the real undying. So this is gonna force them to act first. Winter, take you. Well, that's a killer. Well, that's a killer. 
Basically, I don't want them to use removal on, on the thing that I atrocity in response to me atrocitying. I, obviously, I should have just atrocity, not ruination. Like, obviously, I messed up there. But now we're trying to salvage this. Passing with all this mana up. I guess it doesn't get better for me. It, it's either just do it now or they get one extra card. Because um, obviously vengeance, vengeance breaks this up. Is there anything besides vengeance that I need to worry about? Like I can't think of anything else that they're going to have. I guess, I guess like just multiple spells. <laughs> Yeah, it's true. They could definitely have a frostbite thing. Um, they can have that next turn too. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess we just go for it because they're just gonna untap and just go straight to attacks. They had grasp plus feast or double grasp. Yeah, obviously I just really messed that up by not playing that instead of playing the Ruination. I, I was already like focused on the Ruination and whenever I drew my cards. I messed that up. That was my bad. Too focused on the Ruination play to stay alive and didn't recalibrate after drawing the two cards until it was too late till I was casting the ruination. <laughs> so you said you said you you pretty much had to decide if you wanted to play around double removal or the top deck being vengeance or frostbite. Um we're not really playing around the double removal. I mean, if they have the double, if they have the double removal, they're going to be able to use it either turn. So basically, the only thing to do is to play around um, their top deck being. Um... Stop. Their top deck being um, the Frostbite or Vengeance. Because they weren't going to spend any mana. They had no reason to spend mana. They were just going to go straight to attacks. So again, I really do like Ruination against Yasuo decks, even though, you know, can get denied. But it's, you know, pretty game-winning if it resolves. And their deck, uh, you know, with having cards like Yone, Swiftfoot, stuff like that, that those expensive... Um, Those expensive threats, those are really good to ruination away. Oh, double removal wouldn't have worked on they who endure. Oh, okay, I got you. I got you. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I got you. As soon as I look at them, they stop growling. <laughs> They're growling. My my neighbors across the street have their dogs out in their yard right now, and so.
All right, they're hanging out in the backyard. Um. I do have these withering whale. The withering whale probably should have. Well, that's not good. I probably should have attacked my three Ts. They who endure is already big. Just gonna let that happen because I'd, I'd rather sacrifice this thing to draw cards. Okay. Okay. Where are we at? 10 10? That's not bad. Alright, gonna let it back in. They played Reckoner, so they still have four mana for Deny. Um, reconnecting. Oh darn, they killed my the undying. Oh darn. Um, obviously not gonna let them uh, play Yone. Not gonna play anything else pre-combat. So they're gonna have to do something about this they who endure first. Yeah, Zico might have been playing this game now since it came out. I 
gonna try to play around deny. We're, we don't have to like force the atrocity right now. We can just keep putting pressure on them with all this stuff. That's kind of a bummer how that worked. I wanted I wanted these to come back and then the Reckoner kill one of these. They cannot hide. Two. I like the perfect amount of mana to bait a deny out here right now. Yeah, they have been they have been telegraphing deny for sure, and so this will you know this will kind of force their hand if they want to with the deny. I want to try to go for lethal. Well, no more deny mana. I surrendered. What's up, Choco? Keep that 10 month resub going. Where's my hype boats? Okay. Work at Walmart's been picking up a whole lot. Oh yeah, I mean I bet. Like it's it's kind of like the only place to to shop, you know? Like there's it's it's one of the only places. Um, how's work been though? Have you have you been able to uh, keep safe? I definitely feel bad for people with the retail jobs of, you know, having all of the random people come in to to work all of the time. Right now, like that can be really tough. Yeah, that was perfect timing with that that victory fanfare. Oh, that's perfect timing. Well, this start is good. Yeah, we'll keep withering well too. Okay, it's been pretty normal. After the first weekend, people just tried to hoard everything but then besides that after that's been normal that's good that's good to hear So I guess I'm not attacking with the Undying. We'll just get seven points in before they can play a blocker. I guess they didn't want to play a blocker anyway. Guess they could have got two more in. Because of Withering Whale, we have pretty decent blocks. You know, we'll, we'll block like this and have Withering Whale clean up those things. That's annoying. At least it wasn't Radiant, uh, Radiant Guardian. That would have been really annoying.
Could just be holding Radiant Guardian in hand right now. I like that Absorb Soul card. Let's forget about that card. That card's good. I like that one. Oh, and then Dawn Speakers? Wow, that is awesome. So attacked with the 4-1 because their their creature was going to Yuck. Dawn Speaker is Hecarim? Yuck. Um I'm just kinda dead. I'm just kinda dead. These cards don't do anything. Okay, we got an 8-8 eight eight here. That can do some stuff. You know, like, we... We have like this combo, we may be able to pull it off with the Atrocity and the They Who Endure. We'll have to see. All they need is a Vile Feast, Withering Whale, you know, anything that does the one point of damage to get rid of it, though. Probably gonna be forced to go for it. Be strong. These are dark times. Yeah. Um, guess if I withering whale, I don't die. Barely. In the name of the fallen. Now I would die. All right, we block here. Okay, no. So we go to go to one. Could withering whale, but kind of to what end? I think this is my best chance of winning, right? Isn't it? Guess so. Withering Whale's a lot safer. This is the push the chips all to the middle play. They have basically anything we lose, and obviously it looks like they have something. And we lose. 
Well, I'm glad I'm glad we tried it though. You know, we would have died withering whale. We would have died to atrocity anyway. So I'm glad that we tried going for the win. We weren't getting out of that um, with withering whale. Karma Ezreal. This is our... It's the fifth... You know, last match of the day. This is our... Um, 21st match of the day. This is our first time to play Karma Ezreal. I just realized that. We haven't played against Karma Ezreal at all. Just realized that. Technically better to do this first. Even though sure they can use removal spell on one of these and then I do less damage. But I think it's still better to do that first. Um Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure saying. I'm not sure why Legends of Runeterra isn't really working on your computer. Um, I don't... I, I'm not too... technologically savvy. Well, I guess we're drawing They Who Endure. We've been whiffing with that. A couple of times now. Um, this game is coming out... To another Wraith Caller. Then I'll have... I still have Glimpse Beyond available. Okay, this this game is coming out on mobile. So, you know, you will be able to play on your phone. Um, if your computer is not good enough, you'll be able to play on your phone if, if you have a, you know, a phone that's good enough. Um, and that's going to be happening in 12 days. It'll be out on the 30th. Potentially the 28th. Sometime between the 28th and the 30th. Jury rig. All right, that's one less for Ezreal. So they could have had me keep a 4-2 alive or a 3-1 alive, with both things dying, not taking any more damage. If they would have blocked the other way around, I would have a 3-1 in play instead of a 4-2. So not really exactly sure why they blocked like that. Yeah, I think this could just be dead right now. Do they want more targets? Turn 7 is the turn that it's 
this is the, the turn where it starts getting kind of risky playing stuff pre-combat because of Yone. I can't be worth it to Vile Feast my own thing, right? I right know that this puts them to five Ezreal triggers. If I Vile Feast my own thing, they'll be at four Ezreal triggers. Probably not worth it. I'd rather Vile Feast this thing, this Curse Keeper, if I can. No, it is tempting. Especially with how they're using Mystic Shot on this. That's a valuable spell that... Sure. Basically, I just traded a Vile Feast for a Mystic Shot, and I think that's a good trade. That's a valu valuable spell that kills me whenever they have Ezreal leveled up. Be a little sad about that. They could be a little sad about that. And again, Yone, don't want to don't want to risk playing stuff first. Just go straight to attacks. Chronicler has great targets out here. played Ezreal, I was definitely going to grasp plus Withering Whale, but they didn't. So we'll double spell. Let's play Chronicler, and which one do we want to kill? The... Either we have a 4-4 and a 2-2, or a 4-4 and a 1-1. I guess we want the 4-4 and the 2-2. Where they go crazy. Mana. Could you know, definitely was thinking about atrocity and you know, the Undying to kill them. 
or to, to kill the karma. I think I'd rather do this to kill the karma and keep atrocity available. But I definitely want to get karma out of here before they untap with it. A hundred percent. Like I don't, I don't want them to untap with, with karma at all. Should make killing them here a little easier. Hopefully, you know, especially with having atrocity. I don't, I don't have anything that can kill them. Plus, they could have had. There's the one mana, uh, burst spell speed to gain. They would have gained six life with karma. So atrocity was still a little, um, little risky, anyway. I already played one jury rig, so I guess it's jury rigs two and three. That's pretty good. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. Can't do. This could get denied. But I'd rather them deny that than deny my lethal atrocity. Tap out. Tap out. Many so like, they'd be doing all this stuff in, in response to atrocity anyway. Like they would, they would do that. I want them to tap low. Well, they just win. So I honestly couldn't do anything there. So if I, like you may think that I, oh, I should have cast the atrocity earlier. Well, it wouldn't have worked. If I would have cast it the previous turn instead of the vengeance, they would have used deny. Like they had deny. That turn I had no opportunity to because they led with Ezreal. If I cast atrocity after they play Ezreal, um, they would just do what exactly what they did with all the burst spell speeds. So they just had, with 10 mana, they were able to play, um, and like the, the two damage from the attack, we were still gonna be taking lethal. So like, it, it didn't matter if I would have done it before the attacks and saved two damage. They were able to play Ezreal and then play um, 10 burst spell speeds with seven mana. Uh, sorry, turn 10 burst speed spells with seven mana. Ten, uh, 10 different spells to do 20 damage to me. So, like, there's there's honestly absolutely nothing I could do. Like, that's just that's just incredible that you can have you can have 10 total mana, cast Ezreal, and cast 10 other spells because, you know, obviously because of Karma doubling them. So they cast 5 spells for 7 mana. But, yeah, they just had all those 1 mana spells, and they're all burst speed, so you can't respond. And you just die. That's insane. That's why that's why that deck's the best deck in in the game. That that just shouldn't happen. <laughs> yeah. Uh Alaman says it really shouldn't you know, Ezreal really shouldn't trigger off burst speed spells. 
yeah, I mean, you can't you can't do anything about it. You can't you can't respond. It's just it's just ridiculous. There's nothing like honestly nothing I could have done. That's just the way it is. Um, I you know I played the vengeance first and I got the deny out of their hand. But yeah. Oh well, you know, GG's I guess. All right, but there we go. There was our um, they who endure undying deck. It, it definitely felt pretty good. You know, I think this was a, a pretty good deck. I I'm not sure this is better than Endure Spiders. Um, you know, it's a little different, but I think probably the Endure Spiders felt a little bit better, but they're very close. They're both very similar. Um, yeah, they're they're pretty you know they're pretty similar, but I think I liked the Endure like just kind of normal, um, you know, tier list Endure Spiders. I think this deck was a little bit better. But then again, I guess I haven't played this deck as much since Skitter has been nerfed, and I don't know if that really made uh, a difference in this deck with Skitter being a 3-2 now instead of a 3-3. Uh, three, three. I guess that's true. But anyway, uh, there we go. That's Endure Undying. Um, yeah, those of y'all watching on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like button over there and leave a comment. I would appreciate both of those. But thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.